I want my students to truly enjoy the study of ancient texts. If I can't find anyone like that, then I just won't take on any students. Oh, right. About finding someone to help me with my work. Well, it's pretty reasonable for students to help their mentors when they have some free time, right? Oh, I mean, even I did that back in the day. <laughs> my illustrious resume aside, my intellectual capabilities have been acknowledged even by the Animo Archon himself. As for why I still can't find any students, well, it's not due to any fault on my part or that of my Darshan. Maybe it's a matter of timing. I also received my vision at precisely an opportune moment after all. Knowledge is naturally something that cannot be limited or restrained. It's like how Kasharawar can utilize Haravatat's research findings. All scholars will be grateful to Lesser Lord Kusanali for releasing the Academia. No, the entire city of wisdom from the shackles of selfish desires. <sighs> All who thirst for knowledge are now afforded the opportunity to search for treasures in the vast sea of knowledge. One of my favorite projects is researching rainforest ruins. Oh, right. I should ask Tainari to come with me next time. It's always fun to travel with a living copy of the Rainforest Survival Guide. I must say, even though I've been around for more than a hundred years, He's seen far more varieties of fungi than I've had the chance to taste. Ah, Kale. She's respectful toward her elders, diligent, and has a hard-working attitude. Truly the perfect student. Children like her deserve all the affection and praise. Tainari really has no reason to be as strict as he has been. Hmm. I need to find a way to win her over. Ahem. <clears throat> what I meant to say was, as a senior scholar... I should find ways to improve the learning environment of younger students. Sino's jokes are composed using modern words and language patterns, but I still struggle to decipher any hidden meaning from his grammar and prose. Huh? It's all just literal meanings and homophones? Really? Then those jokes don't have any substance at all. Sometimes she'll lower her head and keep her distance when she sees me. 
However, she's all smiles and greetings at night. I don't quite get her. Anyway, most kids in Ritawis are geniuses. A quirk or two isn't anything to concern myself with. Kaveh's a good kid with great potential. I had a casual chat with him once about some principles of mechanism construction. Hmm, how should I put it? He's too much of an artsy romantic, but at least he has some original ideas, which is rare nowadays. I've heard that he's fallen on some hard times, so I'm planning to invite him out for a good meal once my funding gets approved. It'll happen soon, promise. Oh, I remember her. She's a courteous girl. I've only been to the Grand Bazaar a few times, but she's already remembered my name and face. And she's even tried to get the others to stop arguing with me. She really gets it. All youngsters should be more like her. If I didn't accidentally lose myself in that King Deshret ruin, I could have contributed even more to Sumeru. Thankfully, my manuscripts and treatises were still put to good use. Those freeloading Kasharawar used them to establish the fundamentals of the study of mechanisms. <laughs> I'm not called Madame Farozan for nothing, you know. As a scholar, I should have the courage to accept failure and shoulder all of its consequences. I never wanted anyone to pity me, whether it be back then or right now. Also, don't forget that I eventually managed to solve that final puzzle by my own power and freed myself from that accursed place. Instead of pity, shouldn't people feel encouragement and inspiration from my story? <laughs>